Can somebody please, 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 please explain to me why finding a job is so ghetto? Like, finding a job is just as much work as actually doing the job. Because the whole process of finding a job makes no sense to me. Okay, so first you want me to look for a job. And while I'm looking for a job, I got to read all these long job descriptions to see if I qualify before I even respond. Then you want me to make sure my resume is up to par for the position that y'all may or may not even hire me for, which is baffling to me. You want me to do all this work before I even get the job. Then I fill out the application and baby, filling out an application is a job. Because, uh, don't get me wrong, for the ones that just want the information and the resume, shout out to y'all. I will forever and always be grateful to you. But I'm just letting y'all know, for the ones who want me to apply for a job and take a test like I work there, baby, I don't work there yet. Them tests should be saved for training. I should not have to take a test and I don't even get paid for. I don't work there yet. And then, the audacity of y'all to have somebody take a test and then not even give me the job. Oh, Y'all done lost y'all everlasting mind. What is wrong with y'all? I don't want to take no test and then I don't even know if I got the job. No, ma'am, no ham, no turkey. Don't pass go. Don't collect $200. I don't, I don't feel like it. Then when you do get the job offer, that's a whole nother situation. You get the job offer and then they want you to fill out the information that's on, on the paperwork for the background check and all that. Like, you want me to re-give you all my personal information. You want me to give you seven years of where I used to live at. You want me to give you seven years of where I used to work at. Baby, I forgot what I had for dinner last week. You think I remember all these names, dates, and numbers? I don't. I don't. Go with what's on the resume because that's what I put there. I put it there for y'all to look at that. What's the purpose of a resume if you still going to ask me for the information several more times? It makes no sense to me. What are we doing here? Ah, oh. then you gotta, then you get a job. And then this, this part right here is for the parents. You get a job offer, and then you gotta figure out who gonna pick your kids up, who gonna drop them off, how you gonna whoop these scoop doop these. Listen, that's so stressful. Just the pressure of looking for a nine to five job is 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 stressful because you be feeling like you need a job in order to pay your bills. When actuality is other ways to make money out here, but then when you out here trying to make the money, you're not making the money you want to make, so then you you end up trying to go back to a job you don't even want to go for, go to. I don't know if I'm talking to to somebody in particular, but I know I'm talking about myself because I just got a job offer that I'm going to take because I need to pay my bills and my business is not booming the way I thought they were going to boom. Um, but I did receive a job offer, but figuring out how my kids going to get back to forth to school that is that is stressful and i really feel like i'm giving up on myself by going back to a 9 to 5 job i really do i feel like i'm giving up on myself because my dream is to be a full-time content creator which i have been doing since march but it's not going the way I thought it was going to go. It's not as simple as a lot of people think it is. People think, oh, you just turn on your camera and you start doing stuff. Yeah, that's cool and dandy, but that's not what's going to get you the money. The brand deals is or getting monetized across all platforms is. I just feel like I'm giving up on myself by going back to a nine to five job because I really, really, really don't want to. Y'all, every job I had. I couldn't stand it. It's not one job that I had that I really, really liked, that I really, really want to go to. That, Like, I, I've always been miserable at jobs. I'm getting a headache right now just thinking about going to a 9 to 5 job. Like, seriously. I'm getting a migraine just thinking about it because it's, I really don't want to go. Like, but I feel like it's something I have to do in order to pay the bills. And I'm just getting so discouraged because I see people getting on these apps and and just two, three weeks, they making thousands of dollars. Like, I want to be them people. But obviously, that's not in the cards for me. What? I'm not going to say it's not in the cards for me. But it just, that wasn't my moment, I guess. It's just not my moment right now. I don't know. Or maybe I'm giving up too early. Maybe I shouldn't give up. Maybe I should just keep going. I don't know. I really don't know. All I know is I do not want to go work a nine to five job. I do not feel like st being stressed out. I like the freedom that I have to get up and go and do what I want to do when I want to do it. Um, I like being able to know that my kids are safe. I like being able to know that I'm, I'm picking them up and dropping them off. I don't have to worry about who going to get them. Is, are they going to get picked up on time? And then just working at an actual job itself is so ghetto. I don't care where you work. It's not too many people who love what they do. And if you're a person who love what you do, you most likely do a job where you don't have to deal with a lot of people. 
Because dealing with people really sucks the fun out of stuff and make you not want to do things a lot. Because working at a 9 to 5 job, okay. Things that irk my nerve about working at a 9 to 5 job. Matter of fact, I'm going to say that for another video. Because it, it's a whole list. Because you got your supervisors, you got your co-workers, you got the rules that you know don't make sense. And you just like, why I got to follow them, but you got to do what you got to do because it's your job and them people pay you to do it. So, that's going to be another video because I'm going to make a whole list of why 9 to 5 jobs suck. Thank y'all for coming to my vent session. I'll see y'all later.